Y'all, it's official. It's official, the papers to vacate this apartment. <laughs> I'm actually so sad because now it like feels like everything is so real. It's, oh, here's my nails. By the way, I didn't film after, let me show y'all a close up, but I didn't film after because I hate filming on my phone. I just feel like the quality is not as good and the, the microphone is not as good, but let me show y'all. Hold on, let me come to the lights. Okay. Let me put some of these up. There's no light in this damn place. Not really the picture that I showed. She kind of did more of like a zebra print, but it's so cute. I really like this shape. I had to take my 60 day notice in there. I had to go in and I like wrote out this whole thing. I looked up a template and she's like, you don't even have to do all that. So I had to go in, sign a form and yeah, we'll be out of here by September 9th. That's when my lease is like officially over, but I think we're leaving a couple days before that. We're probably leaving like September 1st, 2nd, but I still have to pay the prorated amount for September. So yeah. I gave my move out notice with no new place to live, but it's fine. In the next 60 days, I should be able to find a spot in California. So all I've really done today is get my nails done. I just made an appointment to get a massage because while she was like rubbing my legs at the nail place, I was like, I need a massage. I need to book a massage. So I look up the place that I usually go to get a massage. Y'all, they're doing hour long massages for $45. Or I think on the phone she said 49, but on there, I think she said 45. That is so cheap. I'm gonna miss this shit in California for real because I don't know where you can find a good cheap massage like that in California. And like the spa is so nice here. Like it's so cute. Anyways, I just have some work to do today. I really wanna do like some more Instagram reels and TikToks. Y'all, I posted it Instagram. Not even that I posted, like one of my reels that I had posted a couple months ago, I guess it started getting pushed. People are mother ruthless. Like literally everybody, of course it's men. Men in the comments were literally just going off, saying the most rudest things about my body. So I, I privated, or I, did I private it or delete it? I don't know how Instagram works. I don't know if I deleted it or privated it, but it is not up anymore because I was like, ain't no fucking way. Like my account is supposed to be a happy, positive place and the body shaming that was going on, like men are a disease. Like what is wrong with y'all? You need serious help. Seek therapy, please, because what the hell? Like, I just, mm, 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 no. So they started pushing my Instagram reels. I think it was because I, I wasn't on Instagram. That has got to be a trick because if you post a TikTok or if you post an Instagram reel and then you don't go on the app for like days, they'll push it like, because they want you to come back on the app. So they think that you're getting all these notifications, but baby, my notifications is off, okay? But yeah, that's that's a trick. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Go back for a couple days, okay? I'm talking 48 business hours. It's like no amount of like views, money, clout to me can make me want my Instagram to not be a safe place for people, you know? And you know what another thing is, bitch? I'm on a rant now. Now, we, now we're just talking. I saw a video of Khloe Kardashian the other day and she's obviously very thin. She lost a lot of weight and people just have shit to say about it. They're like, she's too skinny now. She looks sickly and you know, people can think what they want at the end of the day. Like I understand, but like these are the same people that bullied her into losing the weight. Like they were calling her fat, the ugly sister, the ugly duckling, whatever they were calling her. And now you say she's too skinny. Like you don't get to pick and choose, bitch. Beggars can't be choosers. Bitch, just ain't Chipotle. Like what is wrong with you? Like I was just reading the comments so shook to my core being. Like you people literally wanted her to be so skinny and now she's skinny and you're saying she looks sick. Like fuck off. Like literally fuck off. How do we do that to women? I don't understand. I just don't get it. And so I just felt, I felt so genuinely bad for her. Like I almost wanted to cry for her because I was just like, this is so sad because I remember so many people called her fat and ugly. And now that she changed her face, she changed her body. People still have shit to say about it. It's like, but you wanted her to be different. And then she goes and be different and then it's not good enough. Ugh, it just pisses me off. Anyways, y'all, I'm moving out of this motherfucking apartment. That's what's good. That's what's going on here. Hey guys, I wanted to get in here and talk about today's sponsor. Today's vlog, I, you've been following me for a long time. This is not gonna surprise you, but I'm literally dying at today's sponsor. Thank you so freaking much 
to Native for sponsoring this vlog. This is like literally one of the first products that I bought when I was getting into my hygiene journey. So this is like so cool coming all full circle. Today we are specifically talking about the deodorant. Y'all know that I love Native deodorants for many, many reasons. I have coconut vanilla, pina colada, and the sensitive aloe and green tea. I think the sensitive is my favorite just because I do have a really, really sensitive armpits. One of the main reasons that I started my obsession with Native is because they're aluminum free. I love an aluminum free deodorant. They're also cruelty free, vegan, and paraben free. You guys can get three plastic free deodorants for regular $39. If you use my code, you can get them for $26. All you guys have to do is click the link in the description and use my code. I will paste it on the screen. I'm gonna put one on right now. I'm gonna use pina colada. This is the one I've been using every day because it just has such a good summer vibe. I love that they're doing this 100% plastic free bottle so we can be more sustainable in our daily lives and with our daily products. So if you guys want to check out Native, I'm gonna leave everything in the description down below. Y'all are gonna fucking die when I tell you what I did. I get a package like confirmation thing that I have a package to pick up and I'm actually expecting a package so I was expecting it to be that package and I open it I'm thinking it's a mistake, but it has my name on it. I go, I see where I ordered it. Y'all, an hour after my wisdom teeth removal, I ordered a bag and don't remember a damn thing about it. I've been eyeing this bag for a long time and I wanted to start a bag collection. Like that's kind of been my thing for the past couple months. I'm gonna have a shoe collection. I kind of want to start a bag collection. Like I just like to collect things. I have a sweatshirt collection which I can't wait to see when I get back in California. Oh, I just like to collect like certain things. So right now I've been fixating on bags and, oh, but it's so cute. It's so cute. It's like literally perfect. It matches my, I wanted it because it matches my, um, my wallet. We know what high me thinks about and it's shopping. That was so mother freaking good. Is this neon lights? Florida got fucking neon lights. <laughs> what the hell? It's the street lights. Do y'all see that? <laughs> no way. Anyways, y'all, yeah, that was so good. Usually I don't like when people are like talkative because I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like I literally just want to like get my massage. But she was only talkative for like the last 10 minutes. And I was actually interested in what she had to say because she was talking about how she has like a degree in psychology and about how massage is really, it goes hand in hand with um, trauma and stuff. She was telling me about how when you get a massage and you're sitting there, you're like releasing all this trauma. And I felt like she really cared. You know when you talk to people and they just really care? I love that. I literally love that shit. And I just felt like she really cared. Like she was like, oh my God, like you're having a lot of tensions in your back and your neck. She's like, I'm gonna save us some time at the end to do your back and your neck. And I'm like, see, this is like, I love when people make something that's customized and like personalized for you, you know? She's not just giving me a massage. She's giving me like a personalized massage to fit what she feels like I need. And to me, that is a good masseuse. That's a good like, person who's giving me a service you get what i'm saying so I, I don't know i love that shit good good for her holly she's my new girl good morning good freaking morning it is literally so early it's 8 a.m i'm gonna attempt to go to the gym today and run but we'll see it's officially two weeks since my wisdom teeth and they said after two weeks I'm cleared to run and you know do activities and stuff so I want to do that today I'm so exhausted I did not get to bed till late so I got me a little espresso look at this cup wifey period because I'm not a wife but I am you know what I'm saying I'm not a wife but I am a wife I have this package god look what I would be stop sending me packages because they did for a while but apparently I got one I don't know so we're gonna see what's in it. Yoga mat, shut the hell up, y'all. I was literally just stretching the other day and I was like, damn, I have so many yoga mats in storage but I don't have a yoga mat here and I'm not gonna buy one. It's a yoga mat. 
Stop! Look at this. <laughs> and it matches my little green that I'm wearing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this to the store. This is cute. The new flavor is yuzu pineapple. You guys know I love liquid IV. I literally just said in the last vlog about how it helped me with my wisdom teeth removal because it was just replenishing my electrolytes. It's literally just an energy multiplier if you don't know what liquid IV is. Gymshark socks, water bottle. This is cute and high quality like Wow, what is this? Bands? Resistance bands? Stop! They watched my videos and they were like, yeah, she's gonna need some workout equipment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liquid IV. Some people just give out the best like PR. And since this is like all gym stuff, I love that. It's such a vibe, wow. Thank you so much, that's so nice. I think I'm gonna make my coffee in this little ninja thing because it has a sippy lid. I really need to get cups that have sippy lids or like straws because I prefer my bev in like a sippy straw. There's all that more Starbucks vibe because Starbucks switched their lids to the sippy lids. You know what I'm saying. Got a new creamer. It's the same type of creamer, the zero sugar Starbucks one, but it's hazelnut. And I'm gonna be honest, the caramel macchiato is so much better because I don't know why, but I'm just not the biggest fan of hazelnut. I've like literally tried to bully myself into being a fan of hazelnut and it's not for me. It's not for me. Anyways, we got nothing to do today. I'm honestly just gonna go to the gym and then I have like some work stuff to do, but I can literally sit on the couch and do it. So it's not really work, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes doing like content creation and YouTube and stuff as a job is difficult in the ways of like, you don't go somewhere and clock in. You know what I'm saying? Your job is on your mind 24 seven. Like if you go out and you wanna have a nice drink with your friends, you're probably gonna take a photo. Shit, you might even take a reel. You might take a photo for your Instagram feed. You're always thinking about content 24 seven. It's almost mentally exhausting. I haven't talked to you guys in so long. He's doing a crunch. I've been talking to you guys in so long, but today is an exciting day because tonight I'm going to, where am I going? The Sugar Factory. The Sugar Factory with the girl that waxes me. We're going out on the town. Tonight for dinner we got pizza. And I've just been put on to Domino's. Look at this, 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 should, this should not look so good. Mmm, we got a cheese bread and basically two of the same pizzas with the white sauce, it's got pepperonis and sausage and this one is the same but this one has jalapenos don't judge me. i don't really like jalapenos judge you for what not you oh i'm gonna be taking a two slicer okay all my sausage patties are falling off i did nothing today literally not a thing i sat on the couch no i did do something i moved from the couch to the bed to watch shameless why the hell are you what the hell is that i'm gonna make sure it wasn't poison. he took a piece off of my cheese spread this is dinner, and then I'm gonna go to. I actually have to make a return at Sephora, and it's that way. The Sol de Janeiro deodorant is terrible. Someone literally commented in my little Sephora haul, and they were like, That deodorant's so terrible, it made me smell so bad, it like changed my chemistry. Y'all, I've been smelling like onions for the past five days, and it's horrendous. So I'm like, what Okay. Deodorant is it? It's just some deodorant from Sephora. It's Sephora brand? No, it's a, like a good brand. Not. Native would never do me like that, but that has to go back. What's what's going on? Sorry, I haven't talked to you guys in a couple days. I've literally been sitting doing nothing. <laughs> not nothing, but I don't know. I just like wasn't motivated to film. And I feel like if you have to force yourself to make content, it's not like authentic, you know? Outfit check. It's a cash vibe. Got my little Chanel. -y. The shirt is from Zara, but I got it from TJ Maxx. Pants are boohoo. They have like little angels on them. And then my shoes are Pumas, the Rihanna Pumas. Basic jewelry, got my name, my Amazon rings, which are gonna be linked in this video. It's a cash fit. I just spread the fuck out of my hair with dry shampoo. And I don't even like the living proof dry shampoo. It like doesn't work on me, but that's the fit.
beautiful Wait. Hey guys what is up it is it is the next day we need to go to Target Trader Joe's we're gonna go to the mall but I think we're gonna go to the pier tonight and have drinks on the pier because there's like a little restaurant on the pier got my venti ooh it's like curdling down here I've got my venti brown sugar shake and espresso with cream sweet cream cold foam let's do a taste test so like to shake it up and then I got kale egg bites and now we're about to go to Trader Joe's first, right? They just have new items and I'm so excited to go try them out. I love Trader Joe's. Do you love Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. You like it? No, I like it. No. Yeah. So you guys said I got my new bag. My new little liquid IV bag. It's cute. I thought I'd bring it. She never does it for me, but every time she sees him, she pees. She like gets so excited, she pees. Or like, I don't know, there's a reason that they do that. They wanna like show that they have dominance over the, I don't even know. But anyways, she pees. <laughs> and we came home and she was having a piss fest. Anyways, I wanna give you guys a Target and Trader Joe's haul, cause I didn't talk to you in either store because it was popping. Trader Joe's haul, cause I got so many. I literally got every single new thing that they had that I wanted except they didn't have spaghetti squash they had these like spaghetti squash that you can boil I love spaghetti squash and putting like pasta sauce on it making like little meatballs my mom used to make that that's like something she would make for us when I was growing up I was so excited to have this spaghetti squash and I even asked somebody and he never came back for me he never came back for me so no spaghetti squash but anyways <laughs> Carter does all tomatoes two watermelon chunks right. strawberries Everything with the bagel smoked salmon. We're gonna make some some lox bagels because I never tried one and I keep seeing people eating them and now I need to have one. Crunch chicken, eggs, hash browns, which I haven't had in forever, but they're so good, especially I've heard if you air fry them, they're good. Best hash browns ever. They're so um, similar to McDonald's hash browns, which is so good. Cream cheese for the lox bagel. Bacon, egg bites, these are new. I got cheese, spinach, and kale, and then I got cheddar cheese and uncured bacon. Cauliflower, pepperoni, pizza, with bell peppers, onions, olives, and it's on a it's on a cauliflower crust. I thought that was cool. This is one of the new items. Two gluten-free breaded shrimps. This is another new menu, a new item. Garlic, non crackers, jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs, sandwich meat, just regular roasted turkey breast, cheeseburger flavor dog treats. And then these, which are new too, freeze-dried chicken, tomato, feta soup. We kind of went crazy at Trader Joe's because there was just so much stuff. Sour cream spinach dip. This shit is bomb. So good. I literally ate all of his last ones. So we have to get that. Out. Got sweet potatoes. Kind of forgot that I got these, but sweet potatoes because I've been wanting to make sweet potato fries because I make the best sweet potato fries. They're bomb, and I just haven't made them in a really long time. So. Dill pickle mustard. A green juice, because I wanted to try this. I never tried this green juice. Thai lime and chili cashews, which are really good. They're like one of my favorite snacks. These truffle almonds. And then some regular cashews. Sunflowers. At Target, 
We got some stuff that just Trader Joe's didn't have. Blueberry vanilla granola. I'm gonna make parfait. I've been like craving it. We got some pizza, Hot Pockets. Strawberry applesauce is all of a sudden my new favorite thing. They have a strawberry peach one at Publix that is so good, but they didn't have it at Target, so I got strawberry. Highlighters and post-it notes, because I like to make lists for literally everything. So I got the post-it notes. And since they're having a back to school section where everything is on sale, highlighters, because I only have one highlighter, I like don't own any. I wish I had a blue one in it. <clears throat> but I got blue posties. Refrigerated treats for Harley and Sadie. Simply Limeade. And then these gluten-free bagels are so good. They're from Canyon Bakehouse. They make a lot of really good stuff, all different types of flavors. They have gluten-free bread. I'm trying to do more of like a gluten-free theme when I can. I've always tried to be that way, just because I know that it kind of messes me up. Bread for his sandwiches. So yeah, that's everything we got. Pretty good. I'm gonna film a haul, Trader Joe's haul for TikTok. Cause one of my goals this month, if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, was to post more on TikTok, which I feel like I have. And I've been trying to keep up with my Instagram reels. It's really sketch too. If you do Instagram reels, they pay you from this like random sketch. If you do TikTok or Instagram reels, they pay you through this like really sketch account. And it's it literally looks like a drug deal. Like if someone wants to look at that shit, it would look like a drug, cause it doesn't say like from TikTok. It says from like this random place. I got out of the creator fund though because they weren't pushing my videos, y'all. <laughs> I literally left the creator fund and two weeks later they started pushing on my videos again like 40,000 followers I think in a week. That's why I left that bullshit because they just don't want to push your shit because they don't want to pay you. I think Instagram Reels is better, but it's still not that good. Like, I'm going to tell everyone where the real money is. YouTube vlogs, longer vlogs, putting ads every however certain many minutes. Like micro influencers and smaller influencers and YouTubers can make actually pretty good money off of this if you're making the right types of content. You're only on TikTok or you're only on Instagram you should try to switch over to, you not switch over, but move a platform to YouTube because that's where a lot of the money is. Also in brand deals. I'm like giving a whole lesson now. Like how did this Trader Joe's haul turn into a fucking <laughs> social media lesson? But for anybody, I know that there's people that ask me questions about like the financial side of YouTube and you know, things like that. Cause they don't really talk about much stuff like that, but I'm here to help. Cause I wish someone would, would have helped me when I was first starting, you know, getting into YouTube and getting into everything and like how much you should be charging and how much are you getting scammed from these people, which a lot of people are scammers. So, and a lot of companies too, they just want to scam influencers. I was literally talking about that the other day. Make sure you're getting your coin because your content is worthy of money. Like if they just want to do a free exchange, it's usually they're just trying to scam you and they know that they can scam you. So don't do that because I literally did that for so long. And then I had my manager who's my friend. She was like, are you crazy? Anyway, it's beside the point. I got to make a thing for TikTok now. Hello guys. It is so much later. Just got out of the shower. We're about to do a movie night. We were going to go to the actual movies because we haven't been to the movies in so long, but you can actually rent the movie that we were going to go see. Well, we were going to go see the black phone or we were going to see what was the other one you wanted to see nope nope so we were going to see either one of those but i think we're going to rent black phone and then maybe rent the other one maybe next weekend so we're going to rent a movie i have a movie night got my heating pad set from target let's see if we have vibrant turn the lights off it'll be like a nice movie got my cozy blanket from target it's like a comforter Bitch, I took all the pillows off the couch. Like, look, I like disassembled everything, but. Uh, so we're at the mall. We're at Tampa International Mall. And what are we doing today? We're just doing a shop around. Exactly. We're doing a shop around. Are we going to the pier later? Mm, we'll, see. Mm, we'll see. Anyways, I have to make a return that nasty ass stank deodorant from. Sephora, but it's from a Sephora inside Kohl's, so hopefully they take it. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. The, re the receipt says Kohl's on it, but yeah, we're gonna go in. I wanna get a perfume today. I wanna look at running shoes. What else? I wanna go inside Lululemon, because they were looking like they had cute stuff too, so. 
That's what we're doing. He's like boiling hot, so we have to go. Has been to me. I'm just hoping I don't repeat history. I knew it. They couldn't take my shit back because it was from Kohl's, so I'm gonna have to return that. Ooh, I saw this in the window at Hollister. I think I might wear it tonight. We're gonna go to the pier tonight and get like drinks, go out to dinner. We were gonna go out to lunch, but then we're like, we have tons of food at home. Just did a whole ass Trader Joe's haul. So I'm gonna eat, probably I'm gonna try that shrimp. But look at this little set. I just thought the color was so perfect and it's like a waffle material. And I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, oh, no, I have to have this. They have the top in pink, but I wanted the, the bottoms in pink too, but they didn't have any other colors that I like, but I love this knitted. It was so cute and it was on sale because I put in my phone number. So it was only, how much was it? It ended up being $59. I knew that I wanted this perfume because last time we went to the store, I had sprayed it. And I walked out and the rest of the day I was like, I have to go back and get that perfume because it smells so good. And I thought it was the regular alien perfume, but it wasn't. It was the goddess perfume, or at least I think so. I don't know. We might be having to go back and get the other one. But I think it was this one because I asked her to spray both. And I, I thought it was this one, this bottle though. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's the, how do you say his name? Moog, Moogler, is that how you say it? Who? This guy, the guy that died. Oh, Chadwick Boseman? What? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, his name is Chadwick Boseman. This is the guy. What? Babe, no. That is not who we're talking about right now. The guy from Black Panther? No. This is Mugler, a designer. That died? Yeah. Now he thought this was Chadwick Boseman's perfume. The alien goddess, it smells so good. I kind of want the other one too, but it had more like a flowery smell, like a gardenia smell. This one is fire. I got the two point, the two ounce bottle, right? Yeah, I got the two ounce bottle. Mm, it smells so good. It has like a light summer vibe. What? What did I think? I have no clue. The original one is like a purple bottle. See? And then he got, I'm just gonna show what he got too. A little shirt from Zoomy. This is huge. It's like a dress on me, this little shirt. They had a cookies, I don't even smoke, but they had a cookies sweatshirt that I kind of wanted. It was red and it's like cookies on the front. And then on the back it said, thank you for smoking with us. But I'm like, do I need this? Like, I'm not even, a, I don't even smoke. But it was really cute, like they, it was really cute. And I have like a little bit of sweatshirt addiction collection, so. I was like, do I need this? But then I just didn't end up getting it. These shoes for his birthday. Can I show them? Yeah. I love these shoes. I want a pair for me. Mm, they're so far. Look at them. He said he doesn't like the Velcro strap, but you can take it off. I love this shoe. They have so many good women's colors like online because they don't ever sell like the women's colors, colorways of these in store. But I like the blue. The forums, cute. McDonald's forum too. Like the high top McDonald's forums that are really cute and I want them so bad. But anyways, that was that. I'll see you guys later. When I'm all looking cute. I'm gonna look cute tonight if we're gonna go out and do something. Oh, also, the movie last night, I forgot to say, was so good. You liked it, right, huh? Yes. Yeah, it was really good. It was like, just good. You just need to watch it. It was, it was a good movie. I liked the like plot. Everything, the lox bagel, I'm only making a half of it because we're going to eat. We're not going to the pier. I actually think it's gonna rain, so that wouldn't have been a good idea anyways. We're gonna go to Smoky Bombs. It's this restaurant here that we always see and it's always packed out the freaking door. So I'm really excited to go and it's next to Crumble, so maybe I'll get a Crumble cookie. But I'm starving because we literally have barely eaten anything all day. And we're not going for like another till eight and it's like six right now so I'm starving so I wanted to try oh shut the f 
It smells so good. I don't like things that taste like the ocean, so I'm just like not a big fan of salmon because it tastes really fishy to me. But this smells like it's gonna taste really good. And I got my whipped cream cheese. Does it already have mold? Babe, it already has mold in it. <laughs> no fucking way. It's mold in my cream cheese. How? What is the date on this thing? Anyways, I got whipped cream cheese because whipped is the best. Look at my sunflowers too. Soft cheeses such as cottage cheese, cream cheese, and ricotta with mold should be discarded. The same goes for any kind of cheese that's shredded, crumbled, or sliced. With these cheeses, the mold can send threads throughout the cheese, contaminating more than you see. Are you fucking kidding me right now? That's what I was I was literally just watching someone's vlog where they said they bought, it was a vegan cream cheese though, and they said they opened it, and it literally was moldy all over, and I'm like, how can it be like that? My snack is ruined. All right, my new outfit. It's so cute. I got my little slides on. Oh, yes. It's gonna do me on a good vibe. New outfit on. I got my little California necklace on. Jewelry from Nordstrom. Hoops from Target. And then I have my skin tint on my face and it lasted all day and I've sweated so much. And then I got my hair back in a little clip. I hope it's not cold in the place. I get cold everywhere I go. We're about to go out to eat. It's motherfucking date night. I got reggae on for Harley and Sadie. Y'all look at this, reggae for dogs. Please, it's so cute. Don't be sad without us. Don't be sad without us. Well, we've made it to Smoky Bones. Here it is. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. You excited for Smoky Bones? I made him bring a jacket in case I get cold. My bone tonight. I'm gonna get ribs and it's gonna be fucking delicious. Let's make sure we get a booth. I don't want no fucking table, baby. We want a booth. What do they have? We're looking at a drink menu. I just ordered a Tito's strawberry lemonade. And y'all, it's, it's helping the kids. That if you order one, they donate a dollar for kids. So really, it's just all for the kids. I'm so excited. You can get a margarita? Mm -mm. I don't like tequila. Ah, it's stuck on my lip gloss. Look at it. It's stuck. Can y'all see? It's cute in here. Taste test of my strawberry Tito's. It's strong, but it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's tasting like a expo marker. You don't like it? No, it's good. I'll look at the food. It's here. It looks so good. I forgot to ask for ranch. I love my fries with ranch, but... This is his plate, baked beans, mashed potato steak. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I got mac and cheese. Oh my God. Hello guys. Just finished my food. And I'm fucking wasted. I don't even know how that happened. Don't tell the kids. I think I just drank it so fast that I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to leave and go get a crumble. Two crumbles. What even happened to my hair? Like, I was looking so sophisticated at the beginning of this dinner. taste test this month or this week we got oatmeal chocolate chip and we got brute pizza his choosing not mine but it does look very cute it's a chilled cookie it's not a warm probably because it's fruit I know it's making your pussy <laughs> she's trying <laughs> oatmeal cookie chocolate chip Delicious. So. Mm. Come on. See, I don't care that these bitches is all relatable. The shit I gave to you was unattainable.